You said communism can't work because genes will openly or secretly work, at least partly for themselves. Would it work in a nation of clones, maybe with different clone types for each function, like ants? Yes. Let me... Well, oh, okay. No, so that was your answer. <laughs> no, I actually had a, just a, an aside. Um, so ants aren't clones, uh, but they are... Uh, Mostly female workers who, if they share both a mother and father, are three quarters related to each other, the sisters are, which is more closely related uh, to each other than they are to either their mother or would-be daughters. And so they are invested in uh, protecting their queen, their mother, so that they um, can get more sisters at a, at a purely genetic level. They win more when they get more full sisters than they do by uh, breaking out on their own and producing kids of their own. And so you end up with a... Uh, you social society, uh, which is quite close knit and has very little reason for um, competition within it, although obviously competition does happen. So there are no um, ant clone societies. Um, there are, for instance, um, well, like Nemedophorus, the uh, whiptail lizards in the Sonoran Desert uh, go parthenogenetic. And they have, t you know, totally, they're still not clones, though. Yeah, they're, they're actually parthenogenetic. So they're 100% each kid, each daughter is 100% related to its mother, but um, they self, they don't clone. And so uh, you lose genetic variability uh, with each reproductive event. But in each of the cases of the parthenogenetic species, there's some place to borrow diversity from. So even down that road, we're not going to find with the, the right, whiptails, the right instance, model, yeah. right? Whiptails and uh, aphids and yep. all the others. But um, anyway, the thing you're looking for, the answer is a simple yes, right? The body is communist. That's what it is. It's yeah. communist because all the cells are clones and it works and communism can work. Hey, isn't that good news? You know what you need to make communism work? <laughs> Brutality. You need to reorganize people's uh, motivations by threatening them if they act according to their individuality, which is why communism is so frightening. Is and, that, and you need to keep up the brutality day in, day out, forever. Or you it need never to, ends. Or you need to build it into people's uh, developmental environment so that they can't think for themselves. You turn them into mm, that does sound like cultural fun. zombies. So anyway, it's a very bad idea. And um, that doesn't mean it can't be made to function. I mean, and this is, it's just, it's very clear. The fact is, for life to be worth living, the human has to be liberated to discover what is good. It does not mean that everybody uses their liberty well. They don't. Most people squander it. But having liberty is the gift that we should be trying to give to other human beings and communism wrecks it because it requires brutality in order to overcome the individuality that would cause the game theory to break down that's a very dangerous situation so um, it is not a glorious solution to any problem